Guess who's back? Back again. Kai is back. Tell a friend. Oh my god, where have I been? Just doing stuff, really. Life. Apologies. Um, so I'm going to show you a design that I've done on one of my clients. I have done her base layer in um, glass slippers from Glitter Bells. Me and now, uh, Ted, I've been away from YouTube for a little while, babes. I need to probably give this my all. What have you made? A Lego man? Yes. He has a beard. He has a beard. He's beautiful. And he's, he's a naughty guy, so he has like a jail costume on and a jail hat on. Oh, that's amazing. Can we, can we pick this up in a minute? Can I just talk to the ladies? Yeah. Okay, I love you. Good boy. All right, guys, so... That was my little Teddington. I've done a little ombre on this nail. We've used Belle from Glitter Bells, which is a really, really nice soft pastel yellow. And then I'm using um, blue pastel. And, and then I'm going in with a tiny squidge of clear and grabbing some rainbow stars from Glitterati. Now stars are everywhere. And part of me is like, I don't want to do stars because everyone's doing stars. And I'm like, oh God, if everyone's doing that, I don't want to do that. But they're really nice. So I'm jumping on the star bandwagon. I don't care. Don't care. But, um, and these rainbow ones are so lovely. And there's so many different designs out there that everyone's done with the stars. So yeah, I had a little bash at it. Hope you like it. Um, so yeah, in the end, it ended up being a bit of a unicorny kind of set um, with a good old marble, an extended nail bed. Also, you can see I just got one nail on. Random, innit? I? Um, don't mean to name drop peeps, but I went and uh, had a day with Kirsty Meakin yesterday. And that's my finger that I made. Um, it was an insane day where I met some amazing girls and I went and did the Back to Basics class. Um... And, yeah, some people are like, why have you gone and done that? Um, because I'm not a cocky bastard. I want to learn more. I can learn more. So I thought I should go and meet the Queen and have an ace day and just, yeah, just go right back to basics and have a little bash. Um, but, yeah, it was just amazing. So if any of you girls are listening, hi, yeah. I honestly, you were so lovely. Right. Let's do an extended nail bed. I am using Sugared Almond from Glitter Bells. I walk my um, first bead down. I basically, I tell people that all you're doing is sculpting an almond shaped nail with that first bead. You apply your first one, you walk it across and you pull down creating an almond shaped nail. And then the second bead just goes straight from the cuticle and into the first. That wall is already built. Um, you're just doing your cuticle work and your apex, just building that wall so you can push product up against it again. We're going to have a marble on this nail where I'm picking up three different colours on this one. Normally I only pick two and I'm probably going to do that again because this ends up just yellow. Just look at that. Look at that beautiful mix of colours. It's just, just great. Yay me. Um, so I'm going to do a marble and I pick up three wet beads. I'm right handed. I go from the left hand corner up to the right and I'm going to swoosh up through it. And you can't see that. Um, so there are other videos that you can go back and watch where my camera angle is clearly a lot better than this one. Um, but yeah, yeah, just, just go in wet, never go in dry. That's a rule that you can, you can take away for, for many things in your life. Never go in dry. With marble, it's definitely better wet.
Now here, I'm just laying down a really, really thin um, amount of Dusky Pink, again, from Glitter Bells, because I'm going to put a glitter on it, and it's the same glitter that I've used on the swooshy, swooshy, swooshels on the marble, and it's called Unicorn Horn. Um, I actually made this one. Me and Beck, like, we designed, like, this one. We threw some stuff in a pot, give it a shook, and this is it. And then Joe from Glitterati created it for everybody to buy. And it's just bloody lovely. So that glitter, unicorn horn, grab it at Glitterati. Remember that you can use my name as well, which is Kylie. Um, but a kicking car when you buy from them. Um, glitter bells, again, you can get a discount, but it's all lowercase and just my name. Right, we've got a thumb and we're going to do blue pastel and then sugared almond from the cuticle to do a nice um, ombre nail again. Different to the little finger and then more stars, more stars. Um, go completely out of shot in a minute. So, yeah, enjoy. I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. Right, now it's gonna be time to get that smile line really, really crisp, okay? Um, so I'm gonna be putting my file up against it, flat against it, not leaning on it, not leaning away from it because I need it as flat as hell to push the product up against it. So when I finish with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a piece of towel because I can't be bothered to put all my lids back on, move all my pots out the way before I do my filing. So I stick a bit of towel over my pots and get in there with this file. Now this is a Glitter Planet metal board. I love it. It is thin, it is light. The um, changeable um, file, the, you know, the things, the sticky filey bits, they cover it completely so you don't have any open parts of file that, you know, you'd file in like Billy O and it's not actually doing anything. So yeah, if anybody wonders what that one was, it's a Glitter Planet. So I've gone in with a wet, little bit on um, bit of monomer on my brush and I just cleaned up the filing dust um, and I'm going to do all those colours just kind of in a kind of mixy thing yep it's I don't know I didn't want to do marble so I just thought oh I'll just like make a little rainbowy swooshy so that's what I did. That's what, this is what it is. It's a rainbow. That's the thing. If we don't really know what we're doing, I'm always like, it's art, darling. It's what I envisaged. You don't have to like it. Mwah. So that's what it is. It's like um, just all the colours just lay down and wiggled into each other. Um, and then again, I'm using unicorn horn on the other side, dipping my brush upright, picking up a tiny, tiny, tiny eye bogey size bead of clear acrylic. Um and dipping that straight into raw glitter. I always keep all my glitters raw. I never pre-mix it because otherwise I'm buggered and I can't use it for um, my gel polish clients. So yeah, keep it all raw and pick it all up um, with clear acrylic. Um, and then I think, I'm, am I adding, I'm adding some stars here. Um, yeah, so I'm adding some stars. Oh, and then in a minute, I go back, because I looked at that marble, and I think, well, you're not quite finished, so I add some more stars to that marble as well, because, you know, it's a starry, it's a starry story set. Um, and I'm going to encapsulate it with glass slippers, um, 
and that is my set. Shall I come back and talk in a minute? Or shall I finish it? I should probably just come back in a minute. Make you make you wait for another ramble. I'll be back in a minute. Well, I didn't make you wait long, did I? <laughs> mm. um, so I just would like to say thank you. Thank you for being patient with me because I'm a bit of a dick. Um, and I know I don't put up videos very often. My problem is that I don't do it straight away. And if I don't do it straight away, then they takes me forever to get them back down out of the iCloud and I'm just I probably will get better at it now now I'm friends with Kirsty Meekin see so, you know went to the pub with her and everything you know mates <laughs> I'm not gonna say besties you know I'm work I'm working on it but maybe I'll <laughs> maybe I'll up my YouTube game now um but I did this set this morning and I've come straight back on. Admittedly, no one's getting fed in the house, but I've come straight on and done it. So maybe that's just the way I've got to do it. So thank you for being patient with me. Again, I'm, I'm not, I don't, not doing as many sets as I used to as well because I'm doing a lot of teaching. So when I can do it, I will get it up and I will try my best. Um, but yeah, it's good that the one-to-ones the -one and group training is going well. You can leave the door open if you want, Teddy. Sorry, guys. But yeah, you can leave the door open. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thanks for following me. If you don't, please do give me a thumbs up. Tell a friend. Tell your mum. Tell your nan. Tell anyone. Go down the working man's club. Tell them. Get some T-shirts printed. Do what you got to do. Um, I'm honestly so grateful. Thank you, everyone. Bye.